Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, miss. Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... when I can't leave the house. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge. Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know? Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Conrad sells real good disinfectant. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Burial, in the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Edgewater is built on the discipline and sacrifice of its people. Say what you will about our town, but we all pull together. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. 
Much obliged. What can I do for you? You know about Eugene? How? Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious... Ugh, gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. I'm sure that I have no other choice. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. You want to mingle, go try the cantina. You what? But why? I was dependent on you. Does it feel good? Robbing an old man of his last shred of hope? Betray a man in his final hours? Of course. I understand. Well, I'd probably do the same to you, given the chance. So, you just here to watch me die, or what? Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Here, take my fees. I'm never getting that medicine, so I may as well buy myself a grave. Something nice and wide, with plenty of room to spin around inside. I've been feeling pretty low these days. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Shit. Silas still on about that? Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable.
Eugene wasn't family. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Look around. Edgewater ain't exactly swimming in luxury. We can't afford to pay the body price of a suicide. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Mechanical repellent! A stroke of inspiration from the law itself. Here, yeah, I've been saving up a couple bits for just such a project. Grave digging's a fine profession. Always work to be had, and nary a word of complaint out of your clients. You run into any trouble? Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? 